illegal is not a race. It's a crime. Russell Pierce speaking out tonight one day after explosive emails surfaced. They were filled with racial undertones, but Pierce tells ABC 15 the words are not his. ABC 15's Brian Webb is live in our newsroom tonight. Brian, you spoke with Pierce tonight. What exactly did he tell you about this? Well, he told me the emails that he knows of in this paperwork, part of the latest SB 1070 lawsuit, were not written by him, but possibly forwarded by him. We showed you some of these emails last night, given to us by the ACLU and others bringing the lawsuit trying to stop the remaining part of SB 1070 from taking effect. They claim Pierce wrote emails like this one. Quote, I'm a racist because I don't want to be taxed to pay for a prison population comprised of mainly Hispanics, Latinos, Mexicans, whatever else you wish to call them. Another one that mentions an article that, quote, warns of an immigrant invasion of the United States from the third world as America's white majority is no longer even reproducing itself. And one that refers to Spanish-speaking people coming to America is like, quote, importing leper colonies in hoping we don't catch leprosy. Russell Pierce told me tonight at a fundraiser for him he didn't write these emails and that this is all part of a smear campaign. So they are, they are even your emails. No. Not the ones they're talking about that I've seen were not even my email. They they were they were emails that I forwarded from a great patriot, a prolific writer, and he used metaphors. He never used racist terms. He never called anybody names. He used metaphors. You know, and yet they would have you believe that these terrible things have been said, simply not true. The ACLU and others hoping that a judge will believe the emails in this paperwork were written by Russell Pierce to show that racism was part of the law from the very beginning, hoping to stop the law from taking effect fully. Stephanie, we could hear from the judge as soon as Monday on this. All right, we know you'll keep us posted. Brian Webb, thank you.